Erica, this came to us as a shock to a lot of people. These workers told not to return to work today. This factory responsible for the iconic brand behind Necco wafers and sweethearts. A single freight truck pulls into a loading dock at what will become the former home of the New England confectionery company. Today, not much seems to be going on inside. More than 230 workers are now out of a job after it was announced NECO is shutting down operations at its Revere plant. The company was recently purchased by Roundhill Investments for $17 million. But in a statement to the Boston Globe, the firm says Roundhill Investments was very excited to acquire NECO's historic brands and to be part of their national resurgence. After careful engagement and consideration, however, the firm decided to sell the brand to another national confection manufacturer and today announced the closure of the operations in Revere, Massachusetts. It's unclear who that manufacturer is or whether candy production will eventually resume. NECO is the country's longest continuously operating candy company responsible for classics like NECO wafers and sweethearts. This is also a surprise to the city's mayor who writes we are disappointed that Round Hill could not follow through on the enthusiasm it expressed when it acquired NECO. The city of Revere will make every effort to assist displaced workers with referrals to agencies that can help them. Meanwhile, we're exploring the possibility of contacts in the business world that may have employment opportunities for those seeking work. We have not heard back from executives at the plant or at Round Hill. We're told that employees will pick up their final paychecks on Friday. Live in Revere, Katie Thompson, WCVB News Center 5.